question of when they use that maybe bacon. All right, let's get back onto the pitch then. Still 1-0 in favor of Twist the Mice. We start from kickoff and Infinity already trying to get the jump. You can see they're happier. So if I was to uh, suspect something here, Psycho, <laughs> it'd be that they they were the ones that called for the uh, little timeout and reset. Maybe so. And downfield already, Twisted Minds trying to potentially extend their lead with a long ball and hat them. Just going to push this ball across. There's a nice slow play here from Vampires. And he's actually wiggled his way past two of the orange defenders. Nothing they could do about that one. Yeah, beautiful little intercept. Twisted Minds weren't expecting it. And then the call for the pass. Brilliant sight. And Infinity, this is that spark of genius we saw all the way back in the open. That seeing it again just oh, it fills me with glee. It really does. At the moment, Infinity, we must remember they are almost going into this match with not much to lose because that previous result has solidified their really sour fate of not being able to make major contention now. So proving here and now what you're worth without having that additional pressure maybe is a massive factor. Oh, downfield, going all oh the my. way, end to end, goal to goal, some more. That is remarkable. It's such a delicate first touch over to the backboard and both defenders completely unprepared for that downfield ball. Caught way too far upfield, and that is it, 2-1 for Twisted Minds. Twisted Minds, what a punch back. Sending Infinity reeling off of that, it felt so free. So, dare I say dainty with how delicate the touches were. Very graceful, but Infinity still have half the game left to go. They can turn it around. Some more though, it's on an absolute warp up going. <laughs> distance once again beautiful layoff of venom those when that's probably a little bit too risky yeah and actually it was almost twisted minds there that got punished on the counter as we saw you know aggressively pushed forwards and then only just got a slight glance of the touch over to the backboard and now they're looking to work from the back as vampires tries to hoof a ball forwards and thinks that that's going to be enough to escape certainly not that time around suspect lamb vampires to step in Good distance driven, but easily worked out once again. That's kind of the difference you'll see in here is that Twisted Minds are, are dare I say, making much or generating more threats of their chances where Infinity, they'll get the distance, they'll get the ground, but you still don't feel that they're going to be able to get the goal. Yeah, definitely so. And at the moment for Infinity, maybe the grounds are going to start crumbling if this ball can Three put again. On target. And just as you say, Bacon, it's an open opportunity here. Beautiful drop down it was, but you're thinking there could have been more of a response there. It's like Infinity are playing on delay in defense, right? There's, there's that ping diff going on because they're watching and waiting to see what Smore does. But by that point, you, you, you just, you've lost it. You've got to be predictive and the defense just aren't bringing that for Infinity. Maybe. A lot of insight to be gained by Infinity so far in this game one, but there is plenty of time left on the clock for really anything to happen as Vampires doesn't have any infield options. Needs to try and do it all by himself as SMW takes this one high. He's got an extra flip as well, leaves it for Senzo, another downfield ball, and maybe another 20 seconds off the clock. Suspect not being able to get a touch, so some more looking to work out of the corner. Does win this one out. Anyone to pass in? No. Instead, just leaving it, going for the dodge was probably looking for the boost, but it's not there. At least Infinity have got good control of their camp. They're able to work it on out, going downfield, but blocked out by some more once again. What's out of wait once again, and Infinity just a whisker away from squeezing that one to the front post, but alas, Venom already airbound. He's got teammates in support, Senzo behind, but this ball's gone high. It's towards Infinity's camp. He's got a touch. Oh, forward past that last defender and suspect. Is going to be running with joy after that finish. Hey, you think he's on a pogo stick, not in a car, because bouncing along, happy as can be there. Pass some more. You've basically got the battle of the flare players here between Suspect and some more. And who's going to push each other the distance? Oh. Vampires might be gifted. No, just off the bat board. Didn't drop enough. Oh, and Infinity have to be wincing, because if they got that third goal, just mm. imagine. The elation bacon. 
game of back and forth. Hatem's gonna have to try and keep this one alive. Some more steps in. Infinity, where are you? A little bit too late, and as that's being thrown towards the net, it don't matter. Twisted Minds, they take game number one, and I think at the same time, they might just uh, be wiping a little bit of sweat off their brow because that came a little bit too close to come. Too close for comfort, that is for sure, but a wonderful performance from SMW or some more with those three goals on the board. Did a lot of work. Individual efforts spawned so many of those chances for Twisted Minds, but these early sort of nerves and woes for Infinity, I think on the more positive side, Bacon, may have been put to bed already. Right, let's have a little moment to have a breather, okay? Because that was a wild first game, and that's just, dare I say, a warm up. You know, Infinity came in. Clearly not on a server that they were getting on with too much. They had that reset, able to sort things out, looked way better afterwards, but that defense is still an issue for them. The attack, however, is clearly not. Infinity have been showing such great ingenuity with their plays, and we do expect that to continue through, but that defense does need to be picked up. Yeah, definitely, and I almost think it's the same case for both sides, except, unfortunately, for the side of Infinity, they had that extra... It was more frequent, the mistakes they were making, but mm. especially from the Twisted Minds camp as well, you did often see that third man press just that little bit too far forwards and expose those gaps open for the counter-attacks. We saw the likes of those simple infield dribbles almost, which gave way for people like Suspect uh, to create those pogo stick opportunities. <laughs> Hopefully for Twisted Minds, not something that continues. And it is a common defensive error, should we say, in the MENA region. You see it on pretty much every single team there. That want to drive, to get a goal is just too much. They need to be a little bit more reserved. And that's why when we actually saw Venom being that third man in Twisted Minds, was the most concrete anchor player out of the lot who was very reserved and actually took a step back. Twisted Minds, I think, could have got away with four, maybe even five goals in this series. But... Those were more chances rather than concrete opportunities. Yeah, I have to agree with you. And speaking of chances, it already might be an early one for Twisted Minds, but there was that infield presence from Infinity, all importantly, and now downfield trying to work together in unison. Our suspect, backed up by Hatem, he's got a touch towards the backboard, but definitely not a threat there. Oh, does win out the 50-50, not able to get a second block. Good step in from suspect, win that once again, Venom. Oh, perfect. Bringing it into a slow dribble there just five times for Twisted Minds to get a good evaluation of the game. It's more now launching it. Sees that open pitch downfield. Perfectly adjusted from the team in orange. Definitely so. Now Vampires maybe with one extra touch can poke this above the last defender, but just about. Got their mitts on that save as Venom continues to press forwards, but an infield pass and a quick counter attack from Infinity still does not give way for an opening goal and somehow nor does that. Just wide of the target, but it was he always felt like it was curling towards the net, is wanting to at least be scored, but we're coming up close to the two-minute mark of this game. Nothing seen just yet, not for a lack of trying though. Suspect with one touch eye, he's certainly got more in the tank to offer as Senzo with a pre-jump so quick, so no, just flashy to response and Infinity caught completely off guard. Again, it's Venom with such a great read of the game. That quick turnaround instantly pouncing on the ball. I don't know what was going on with Infinity, clearly crossed wires, no one picking up the call. And so Twisted Binds again given another, and I hate to say it, but freebie. Yeah, and it's going to be all smiles for Twisted Minds now when Infinity with a lot to work out here as I'm sure this second game is going to be one that's crucially important for their confidence moving forwards and moving forwards Infinity are trying to do but Twisted Minds, their shape so far leaves not much to be desired Bacon. We pass down to Senzo but it's blocked out by Vampires. Suspects stepping in, but Venom to get the block out and snatch the boost whilst at it. Twisted Minds, they want to lock themselves into oh. their opponent's half. Put the shot on some more. Another fantastic touch, and that will seal the deal for the first half of this game. 2 0 in favor of Twisted Minds. Oh, and full credit to the ripper of a shot from Ooh. Senzo. Ooh, the crossbar, it did a couple of favors. It must be said. It didn't mm -hmm. go in first time around, but the follow up. Lightning fast and Infinity, they stared at that ball as long as they wanted, but still couldn't get the touch. 
crossbows rattling, but are Infinity rattles themselves? It doesn't look like it. Bit of ingenuity, we are talking about it earlier, but not on target. That's been one issue for Infinity, is just getting that shot accuracy on Hatem. Not close enough to the ball, but does get the block. But where's the oh. ball up here? Suspect's a little bit too late. Calls in the fake on Vampires, but Senzo the big brain doesn't fall for it. Just as you called for it, there was such smart play there from Infinity to find that follow-up shot. And it was actually a fake from that second player forwards because he knew the shot just simply was not going to be good enough. And that little spark of communication almost did a world of good for Infinity. That's him. Launch down field. Suspect was wanting to get ahead, but just didn't have the speed. Another opportunity for a drop down, but Venom's got the time. Infinity wanting to slow things down in attack. That might be able to find them the accuracy they're looking for. But the issue is that it's also giving Twisted Minds time to react. Plenty of time to find a follow-up touch for SMWs. Works this ball deep into the Infinity corner as Suspect now reliant on himself alone to drive this ball forwards. An unfortunate backflip from Vampires. It's going to give a lot of room here for Twisted Minds. These constant one-man dribbles downfield. We talked about with the Falcons game earlier. It's actually a weakness. It's easier to read and quite often gets locked out. I mean, Twisted Mind, sure, have got it only back to midfield. But it feels a matter of time before they get a full field run once again. It's only a matter of time. as now an infield option towards Suspect. Ooh. Did you suspect that shot to be placed on target? I know Twisted Minds for sure absolutely did not. That's one way to put a goal on the board. I mean, look, it. Senzo was going for the 100 in the corner, had to then quickly turn back. But unfortunately, the shot accuracy, which we're calling for all series long, finally hits its mark. Bottom left corner, perfectly put away. No one from Twisted Minds was reaching that. Now Senzo is just going to have to buy his time as he waits for the perfect time to strike with that challenge and Hatem now has actually rode his, his own post there <laughs> unfortunately almost giving way to a third goal there Senzo like that slow it down but the issue is no one was there to fall behind it Venom <laughs> actually wins it nutty and just a bit of individual flair could be all that it takes for one of these teams to Push their agenda and now Hatem over to the backboard. A looping touch. This one's dropped down. And Suspect drops home a second goal. Infinity still in it to win it. Oh, but beautifully met in the middle by Hatem to allow the setup a one to one play. Infinity with 10 seconds left. They've got to be sending us to OT, surely, unless there's something left in the tanks more. Not going to be able to finish that off. And I think both sides would just like to take a little moment to breathe. <laughs> Deep breaths. OT in game two. And all of those issues we thought maybe were prevalent in game one, they for the most part seem to have been put to bed. And now Twisted Minds with such a difficult task after Suspect, that key key player you spoke of, Bacon, is now in the driver's seat himself. Vampires with a tough read. Can he make it? Yes, he can. Infinity, still good to go. Slow off the ball, keeping it within the Infinity half. It will start to run out of boost. You look on the opposite end. Oh, demos. That could just create the opening that's needed. Thrown across wide to the other side. Suspect not got the boost, but does get a touch onto it. Not sending it directly towards the net. This is so even right now. Now, an infield pass may be an option, but Hatton's taken it to the skies himself, and it's predictable for Senzo to make that early pre-jump touch. It's now over to the corner. There is some boost in the tank for this infinity side, but no contact met on the shot. Notice how Twisted Minds are struggling to find each other now. So uncharacteristic from what we've seen from, well, the last two games. So maybe one infield pass could come a long way for this Twisted Minds side. Now it's settled at the back. Arm and reserved is SMW with this ball, but a pre-jump from Infinity tries to squeeze one infield. Is this going to go all the way, though? Ooh. Not quite. The star player of the moment with a crucial step. Just by a whisker, that's kept on in. Suspect does get met. I think I really, so right now, Infinity, it feels like this kind of pace, this pressure works for them. Twisted Minds, I want to see slow down into a dribble almost and just allow themselves a little bit of time to build up a plan. A plan of action so far. This 
player is just to go high as Hatton is intercepted finally by SMW took his time with that challenge. Venom up and he doesn't have many options to aim for and Twisted Minds a methodical approach deep into OT. Some more. Again, it's that slow down of play. Calls in the second man, Venom to step up and score. Beautifully executed by Twisted Mind. Beautifully done, and you can see SMW just bullying the defense. That was two players just shoveled across their own back lines. Complete filth from Twisted Minds and well-earned third goal there. They say there aren't set pieces in Rocket League, but a play like that, I disagree. That looked perfectly planned out and executed, and it has sent Infinity Reel in. Everyone at home knows the deal by now. You lose two games back to back when you're on day three. Yeah, you call the timeout, and Infinity have done exactly that. Yeah, now it's just going to be a question of what do they change, because... Like we mentioned, Bacon, upfield, I don't think Infinity are running into many issues, really. They are making those meaningful connections. They're finding so many gorgeous infield uh, passes, and we saw some great communication come from them as well, especially the likes of those fakes in midair just to throw forward that third man when the second shot potentially doesn't have what it takes. They have that flair to their name, and maybe it's just the case of patching up a few holes or something, Bacon. Yeah, it is just on that defense... Their attack, they've definitely fixed, like we said, with the shot accuracy. They're looking for wider angles. They're making good on their chances. Uh, we saw the defense fall a little bit for Twisted Minds, and that's not just because they're slacking. That is because of the rotations have become a little bit more difficult for them off the back of like the hard work that Infinity are putting on in. So it really comes down to they've upped the pace, and Twisted Minds are getting a little bit less comfortable with it, but they're able to then fall back into a second play style where they're a little bit more passive. Now, that becomes very stalematey. Where do you go for there? I don't want to see Infinity pick up the pace even more because then the accuracy will be mm. lost. So it's a super difficult one and one that I don't have the answer for. Yeah, and it's going to be something that the coach needs to come up with pretty quickly. And I'm sure the players readily voicing their opinions right now. But I think just from... An observer's point of view, a caster's point of view at the moment, I don't think there's an awful lot that this Infinity side really needs to change. And I think that's it would be a discredit to say that they haven't played well at many points so far in these last two games. They are well within a shot of taking this series if they did put in the hard work in these next four games or however else we may have. There's every potential for Infinity to fight back into this. Yeah, so I was looking at... The coach then, uh, seeing that it's Natra coming on for this split, has been here since the Open, so clearly getting something working with this squad. The uh, young coach, uh, not really much experience in the past, only in uh, the spring split uh, last year, so a relatively, like I said, young coach coming on in. But hey, this is when you show your worth in a current like propulsion like this, getting that regional win is the goal for this <gasps> team and oh, 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 oh. You could say the See same thing <laughs> you certainly could and as much as the coaches say is going to have a massive factor at the moment there's not much you can do to try and just speak away a chance like that from twisted minds that was so close to being such a gorgeous way to put the first on the board and now infinity with an infield ball sadly cut away there by venom twisted minds looking to go to that major it is still within reach sure it's at the edge of their fingertips but they need to move a little bit closer bringing in demos creative but the issue was there was two players in the way of that and vampires has done so well to get his downfield yeah, it's going to be a difficult response for twisted minds on the counter some more needs to find a good 50 50 and the follow-up needs to be there and venom is going to do exactly that to keep this ball in blue territory as senzo now Gonna shy away from making an extra touch here and leaves room for that offense to come forwards later. Okay, the ball's got away. Just escape from the moment from all that pressure. <laughs> it was almost like a uh, bloom bursting. Go right down to that other corner. Hatton's been beaten in the lock there, setting this up perfectly. Force more. Great control. Wow. The flip reset, sending it towards net, but Venom just didn't get the prediction to finish it off. No predictions met there from Twisted Minds. This one's going to run away. This one is in the back of the net. And in just as bizarre of a circumstance as we've come to expect, Senzo has gone the distance. 
Denso's been... Well, whilst not quiet, we haven't been shouting his name throughout this series so far because that's not the role in the team. It's more who set up. When you see Venom go upfield, that's when Sento comes back. We'll continuously see some more in that attack and defense position, not really in the midfield uh, to uh, set up the teammates. But there, Senzo shows that he can still kick it and why he's on this squad oh. as the captain, the big brain to pick up plays like this. Senzo looking like a sleeper agent. No one expecting this. Absolutely no one. And he's giving us so much reason to start shouting his name because that's now twice he's appeared in exactly the right place at the right time. And now, well, just over half the game left has done so much work for Twisted Minds. This is the beauty of the squad of Twisted Minds. All eyes, all the focus was on some more. So when you take some more out of the equation, Infinity don't have the answers. They really don't. And they might not even have the answers to him himself, but unfortunately couldn't find an additional touch as suspect over towards this Twisted Minds back third. Venom with a wonderful touch high. He's got another one oh. towards net. Unfortunately rattles the woodwork once again. Twisted Minds on top, top form it seems. This lodging the ball again though. Suspect with a back pass. Some more. Does get an interception and a block to send it downfield. Infinity, clearly. They might come up with answers during that timeout, but the issue is the questions have completely changed going into game three. It's a new set of questions entirely. Infinity, it seems to me as if they're trying to take that bit more of a relaxed approach, especially when it comes to that positioning at the back. But unfortunately, it's given way for a new can of worms, really, as Van Pietz with a shot on target. <laughs> it's going to quickly disrupt my passage of thought with a ripper of a finish. A great pass from Van Pierce, who I think Twisted Minds were expecting to just full run back to net. Instead, saw that opening, was able to step in, just beat the defender to the ball. And that's a shot on target and a glimmer of hope. One minute, 35 left on the clock. One goal just separating these two squads. One minute, 30 left on the clock. For this Infinity side to find the missing piece to the puzzle that they've been lacking so far this series is if they do go on to drop this third game surely it's done and dusted statistically so at least as Twisted Minds still hunting for a third. Suspect seeing what they can do in those one-on-one -on -one dribbles and well Twisted Minds instantly locking it out Vampires is the one to step up and I think that change in the roles might just be the answer here for Infinity we're talking about the expectations on to some more Twisted Minds will still have that looking at suspect, expecting those solo plays to come through. The expectation is always there. The spark of creativity from Infinity seems so as well as they keep rattling this backboard, trying to find those infield options, but the can of worms has once again been opened and Twisted Minds have found a crack when needed most. That is a third and surely a third game as well. And a hat trick for Senzo. Again, the player we said was quiet coming into his game number three and has just gone, I don't know, three of a kind. Game three, gets three goals, gets himself a hat-trick. He's otherworldly right now. I'm so close for Infinity. And that could have been their dying breath. It could have been it. That potential opportunity that came across to the backboard and now Venom is just gonna add insult to injury as these seconds tick down Infinity. With such low hopes, do they have left anything to give? Atom is got to be now. This has to find a teammate. It has to find the net, but Suspect is blocked on out. Vampire is blocked out by Venom. I think that brings a close. The game number three, reverse sweep, is the only option for Infinity right now, Psycho. It is. And it's a difficult situation. We've been here before, Bacon. Just minutes ago, that Rule 1 versus Falcons series we watched, we were almost begging for a response from the Team Falcons side, which was lacking on the day here. Now, Infinity, so much work to be done. So little time to do it in five minutes. That is sometimes all it takes for a transformation, but they're going to need a heck of a performance in this next game. Great strap. Question then sits on you, right? Do you think they can do it? Do you think... 
infinity can turn it all around or well, twisted minds we said it right back at the very start of well the split this looks like a team has changed and then infinity stole the limelight for them is this the split for twisted minds who have seemed to continuously be knocking on that door i mean it seems to me as if if there is any time for twisted minds to firmly cement their name in the spotlight this is that time. We've seen them grow from strength to strength, especially looking back at that spring open and that spring cup performances. Two fantastic performances, it must be said. Third place in the spring open. Second place made that grand final in the spring cup. Is this the day they potentially go on to win it all even? you got to think last time it was the Falcons that took them down in that grand final. Now we'll want to step up to that grand final and well falcons i'm gonna say it they look hurt their wings are clipped again this regional this could be the chance for twisted minds to go the whole way to the grand finals and then well we talked about the whole scenario they're gonna have to go the distance twisted minds are you ready for it are you ready for it <laughs> this game might be an answer to that question as some more has lost control over this aerial play and now it's gonna give potential room for Vampires to come forward and maybe make a chance of his own, but early on so far, Infinity may be in the driver's seat. Vampires, gonna leave that for Hassan. We've seen so many of these aerial fakes where they're using up so much boost to get so high, and then just, I wouldn't say giving up, right? Because it's a fake, they're getting cooled off mm. halfway through. And you gotta think that feels so inefficient for these plays from Infinity. It's an all-in play and it's showing maybe of their desperation as high risk, high reward is maybe the only name of the game Ooh. for Infinity is a save, a last-ditch effort from Hatton. Has seen away early disaster here. Suspect with clearance, Hatton's not going to be able to get on it. The defense not able to get a concrete touch either. Senzo does get blocked. It should be with some more, but where did you go off that? Off the ceiling, some more says, looking to dodge into it once again, not able to get the block. And Venom just keeping it clutch. Senzo, the last bit of boost, does get the clearance. But Infinity looking better with their aggression once again in game four. Definitely so. And Twisted Mind somehow just reached out of defense with absolutely no boost bar one player. And proving that he really can make a difference as Suspect down this left hand line continues to press forwards. Where is the follow up for Infinity though? It did not come through as quickly as they needed it. But they just didn't get a read or at least a prediction onto that 50 50 and can't blame them they can be fickle things this looks a little bit more set up with hatton the infield part no there is no excuse for that one <laughs> inexcusable for infinity and twisted minds now one more touch is it going to be on target it is towards the bottom left venom he is the man, and he has solidified a first in maybe the final game here in this series. I'm sorry, but Venom is not the man. Senzo is the man. Wait, no, S'more is the man. They're the team. <laughs> These could be the new three players that you have on your lips in the MENA region right now. All eyes on Team Falcons, all eyes on Rule 1. The Twisted Minds currently sat in that third place position right now have so so much to give no bias whatsoever but Nina I feel is deserving of that third team at the wild card stage but again it comes down to the region having to earn that it's not so easy Chris the mines oh my <laughs> oh my they've earned it they've worked hard for this bacon and Van Pierre's, as much as he worked hard for that save, there is no way he's given himself enough time, enough space to see that player away. Some more. I'll be done just yet. There is still two minutes in this game, mind you. So, Infinity have shown like great sparks of hope at those final points. They have got two goals in, I want to say, two games. So, this is not safe just yet. A third is needed. 
Third is needed, it's do or die, and some more with a last ditch effort has found this ball away. Maybe a third player to follow through, but Suspect has gone running back. He needs those resources, he needs that safety in himself to drive forwards now as the ball goes across to the ceiling. Hatton waiting back, taking his time as he tries to find another blue player downfield as one ball just touched away by Venom. That could be Infinity's last. Suspect in the corner though with a full tank. Going for another solo dribble play. Does get 50-50. Hatem's on the opposite side. Needs to get the second no touch. Way. Expects the wall fall down, but so does Senzo. So does Senzo and now Vampires. Intent to the punch there. The ball comes forwards towards Hatem. Infield is now one player left back. Vampires needs to make that fantastic read. Does so perfectly as Senzo now. Airborne needs to find any sort of breathing room outside of this defence and somehow against all odds, Twisted Mind still see away that chance. It was wanting, but not found. Twisted Mind's hold on. Still goalless our infinity here in game number four. Just do or die for them. Final 30 seconds and Twisted Minds, they're playing a defensive, oh, I guess, masterclass right now just to keep this one out. Say offense is the best form of defense because you don't really need to worry so much. And now on the offensive front, Twisted Minds still continuing to push forwards and 14 seconds left. This series surely just about now is done and dusted and that team in that third place spot at the moment in Twisted Minds, maybe this is only just the start of their run here today. And another free goal game for Twisted Minds. They've got to be absolutely grinning and ready for the Falcons coming up next. Infinity, it feels harsh. It feels, dare I say, sad. This is a team that have had a wonderful split coming out of, not obscurity, but when you look at their past performances on their past teams, this is the best they've had, and they are a great team on their day. But the issue is that Twisted Minds believe it is that, that it's their day. It's their day to shine. Oh. Twisted Minds. That is a performance that I don't think either of us particularly expected, mm. Bacon. These two teams on paper maybe could have given way for the closest series of the day, but it's often experience. It's often just being immersed in these sorts of environments which can really spur you on as a team towards that path of consistency. Twisted Minds, we are fully aware of these three players, their potentials, their past history. We've always knew they had it in them to create this sort of a path for themselves. Finally, here in the spring split, we're starting to see some of that. Falcons wait in the next match. Their opponent is now confirmed in Twisted Minds. Rule one might just be shaking when you've got a vengeful Falcons and a Twisted Minds that look absolutely absolutely beautiful today it's going to be a fun rest of your day so many good games coming on up so you're not going to want to go anywhere the action will continue after this break
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rocket. It is the Mina Spring Invitational. Your eyes did not deceive you in any shape or form. There has